All right then, now we're back. And uh, well, hey, that was a workout if you ask me. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, we have so much to talk about. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to it real quick. Let me, start, let me start mm -hmm. by saying over the weekend, there was plenty of talk, plenty of bashing over mm -hmm. Instagram and <laughs> if you're yeah. still on Twitter, um, about <laughs> the uh, Ghana-Dubai deal mm. where Ghanaians would mm, be able sure. to travel over to Dubai visa-free now. So yeah. a lot of questions were raised as to why this is in Nigeria and how this is pitching uh, Ghana as the next giant for Africa. Over, mm. yes, yes. But you have to understand, in my uh, uh, opinion here, mm. that the fact is there is plenty to be gained from Africa and where you have yeah. plenty of issues on attended to uh, discipline and yeah. corruption. Yeah. The other, the other alternative would definitely be Ghana because yeah. they're neighbors for one thing. They're developing faster than we expected. And hey, everybody wants to exploit Africa at this point. A lot of even SME owners are, are you know, aiming for Ghana to do things because of the fact that there's often more power there. Uh, cost of production is considered less. And so many other reasons. You know, uh, need a hub. I'm thinking about the fact that so many Nigerians Go there. to Dubai a yeah. lot, a lot. As and you... and I'm thinking it it probably sounds like good business for them to have that kind of deal with us. Mm. So what do you think those issues are that plenty, are preventing there are them? Plenty. Let's not even, like there are plenty. Let's There are plenty because Should we touch on it. No, if we start, we will not finish <laughs> because you see, like you mentioned something. Mm. Um, if you're going to do major business, you need hubs. You need yeah. Maybe a South African hub. Yeah. yeah. You probably need East Africa. You probably mm. need West Africa. West like mm -hmm. you mentioned, mm -hmm. they are becoming. I mean, look at what happened with the Twitter ban. Yeah. But they have an office there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twitter went to Ghana. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So they are fast becoming. Mm. They already are now mm. the powerhouse in West Africa. Yeah. They're the hope for whatever you mm. want to do. Mm. So it, it's all for us to sort ourselves out. That's just yeah. it. We really just do. sort we ourselves really do. out. Um, but uh, some other great things for Africa. Uh, a Kenyan, uh, mm. as anticipated, has won the uh, Olympic gold for the marathon. Who else would win before? That's not that yeah, so, you. So <laughs> who else so were we expecting to win? <laughs> so this is the news, <laughs> right? So this particular guy, mm. I'm talking about Kipchoge. Kipchoge, Kipchoge. is a world champion. Has, he has always been the world champion. He's he the was world the champion. only one to ever do the whole marathon under two hours. Didn't he mm, win right? a marathon at one time with bare feet? I think. And okay, so that, so that record under two hours, there's yes. something about it. it mm. It's mm. supposed to, it's it's mm. of, it's unofficially official mm. because mm -hmm. it was supposed to be wind assisted. There were yeah. some things they put and it was not. But yeah. Yeah, how do I put it down? Uh, it's unofficially official, but yes, he has done it. It's yeah. legendary. Why? Yes, because yes. in terms of humanity, mm. they're saying that uh, someone like Chik Kipchoge can be studied mm. in schools because they've never seen a human do a marathon that good. He gave them a one minute, I think, 18 second gap. gap. Him, the gold medal and the silver medal, there was one minute, 18 seconds. That is like a lifetime in Keep marathon. Kipchoge, by running. the way, also won a marathon with a bad liver or was it a bad kidney? Oh, I can't remember. Goodness one me. of the two. I mean, so, imagine being that mm -hmm. superhuman mm -hmm. and not saying that your mental state was I'm responsible you, for this and, and then that. when he gets to the finish you line, know? He's still smiling and just standing <laughs> after running for two I'm hours. I'm waiting for the next person, waiting for second And place. then the next person comes and he's like, ah. <laughs> You know, still on that race, something very remarkable happened. Mm. And um, kudos. I love that he won. But there's a runner, a French runner in that particular race who mm. made news for the very wrong reasons. Oh, what did he do Morad Amdouni. Mm. Mm. Morad... You know, so you get to different breaks and then there's water by yeah. the side. And yeah. it's water on tables. Stands. Yeah. Yeah. Water stands. What this twat did oh, wow. was that he hit all the bottles. the bottles and picked the last one. Oh, oh. I see what you. I see oh, what he's trying to do there. The, don't worry, by the second part, I'll probably show the video. So did he, did he, did he get penalized for that? He oh. should be. He should be penalized. But so it, 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 it's, it's absolute. Oh, the words, I, the words I, I would love me. to use, I can't use them. That, that's terrible. I know the funny thing. There has been complaints, of course, mm. the heat into mm. yes, out yes. of this yeah. world. Yeah. Do you know that, that that something that little could mm. endanger someone's yeah, life, not having else. water yeah. when you need it? This is a marathon. Mm. He just hit all the bottles. Oh, then again, it's his oh, strategy. No. It's, it's bad, but I, it, he, thought, he thought that before. It was he can always claim it was a mistake. Oh, he didn't know. You see, that's he, a point. Can, he, he can claim, you know, he can make a claim like, I didn't know, or whatever. Until you see the video, I guess. Yeah. Then there was what? the lady, the equestrian, uh, um, who mm -hmm. got, uh, I think she was um, the disqualified for, yeah, hitting, the for horse. hitting a horse. Yeah, it was a coach. And I'm like, come, come <laughs> to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you better come to Africa. So imagine, imagine it was a I mean, cow. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, for just simply hitting the horse because it didn't obey her command. Her command, yeah, she yeah, got she was disqualified. Yeah, I think, I think the coach had to be sent you know? out and all of that. But you know, even for movies, um, horses, yeah, mm. they're given a certain amount of time you can keep a horse on set. Mm. There's a certain number, uh, amount of time they're allowed to be in front of the camera at any given time. If any single horse starts showing signs of exhaustion, there are horse monitors there. Like, they treat them with such... Yeah. Makes mm. you wonder how we Damn. treat animals oh, here in wow. Nigeria. Damn, you I, might, I think we are more the animals. Have you seen the horses at the beach? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> they're corpses. Oh. This is why I do not like going to the beaches because I actually feel very bad when I see these animals. I don't like them. Oh, it's goodness unfortunate. Me. Those ones at the beach. Uh, mm. They're skeletons. It they're is scarecrows. Well. It is there. well. Have you not seen our lions at OU? Oh I no, know. let's not go there. Please let's wrap this up already. <laughs> Just stay tuned. We have more that's it for what's up and about.